Now, the Himalayan government, uh, under the leadership of Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif, has put the country on the track of development and prosperity. The driving force behind this progress and economic turnaround is the economic vision of Prime Minister to make Pakistan an Asian tiger. More in the following report by our correspondent, Bahadur Ben Mesman. Let's take a look at this. The Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif assumed his office at a time when the economy was crippled with many challenges, including energy shortage, hyperinflation, mild economic growth, high debt, and large budget deficit. The GDP growth rate of the country was hitting to a historic low of 3.2%. The foreign exchange reserves have shrunk to 6 billion rupees, and stock exchange market was on the verge of crashing. The international financial institutions were projecting that Pakistan's economy will default. In this situation, the Prime Minister declared the revival of economy centerpiece of his economic vision in election manifesto of general election 2013. It was promised that the menace of terrorism and extremism would be wiped out and all out efforts will be made to overcome energy crisis in the country. In face of daunting challenges ahead, Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif confined his all energies and expertise to put the economy back on track of progress and development. In the first place, apart from restoring IPPs to overcome energy crisis and load shedding, the PMLN government sought $6.2 billion help from IMF to ever balance the payments crisis. The government has issued $1 billion of five-year dollars denominated Sukuk bonds in order to offset pressure on its balance of payments and return foreign loans. The PMLN government has so far issued euro bonds and Sukuk bonds worth over $4.5 billion in that regard. In the second place, the financial wizards and hawks of PMLN government under enlightened leadership of Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif devised a comprehensive framework for economic VN 2025 to bring economic turnaround in the country. Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif made regional connectivity a key pillar of Pakistan's foreign policy. As a part of his economic vision, the relations with the neighboring countries was built to deepen economic cooperation among them. The game-changing $56 billion project of China-Pakistan Economic Corridor was signed with China. The project has catapulted Pakistan to be among the leading markets of the world. The government kick-started multiple projects to combat energy crisis on priority basis. Around seven power projects are about to be completed. In addition to these projects, the government, owing to multi-pronged and sound strategy, has improved the situation of law and order, including Karachi, which ultimately provided conducive environment for economic growth and development. As a result of government timely efforts, the target of adding 10,000 megawatts electricity to national grid is now near to completion. The GDP growth rate has risen from 3.2% to 5.28%. The foreign exchange reserves have swollen to $21 billion from record low of $6 billion. It is natural fruit of Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif's untiring efforts. The Pakistan Stock Exchange has included in the five leading, thriving, flourishing and emerging stock markets of the world. The exports have risen to unprecedented level. Despite creating job opportunities, the economic projects under CBAC will help stabilize the country's economy. Pakistan has first time in her history has successfully completed its IMF program. The world leading financial institutes are acknowledging that Pakistan's economy has now come back on the track of stability, progress and development. The country's economic policies are in right and forward direction. It is not that economic vein of Prime Minister Mohammad Nawaz Sharif is the product of present regime. Rather, being student of business and economy at government college, he has always dreamt of economic prosperity and progress of the country and made it his ideal to turn the plight of common men. During his stint from 1990 to 1993, his government introduced new transport policy, gave loans for public transport buses, wagons and yellow cab scheme. Prime Minister also set an unprecedented milestone by initiating his policy for laying the foundation of motorway network throughout the country. Prime Minister also continues his economic vision into second tenure of 1998-1999. The network of motorways, highways and better communication was underway when his government was toppled. And now again Prime Minister is turning his dream to make Pakistan an Asian tiger with dedication and devotion. Fahad Ahmad Mission, PTV World, Islamabad.